actually started um, about eight years ago. It was a conference that was the uh, idea of our director, Diana Fox, and then it continued on a every other year basis. But recently it's been getting so much support that we are now doing it on an annual basis. So I'm here today presenting to students on the importance of doing shadowing and uh, career questioning before choosing um, a college to attend. I think students should take advantage of the opportunities that they have before them. Um, shadowing and doing informational interviews with health practitioners are really important. Everybody seems like they um, care a lot about your education and your future and I think that's really important. I'm here to promote our, um, our programs, uh, volunteer, our volunteer services program, which will help the students uh, get hands-on experience, build their resume, and also um, network with the professionals. Just the knowledge, you know, what, what's my options, you know, what's open for me, the type of things I can do, you know, just to pursue my medical career, I think it's really great. Here today to give the, the keynote uh, speech, a, a presentation to all these wonderful high school students who are seeking a career in the health profession. It first started with interest in nature, so when I was a kid I'd watch uh, nature programs all the time. I was just really interested in how the animals adapted and how they um, survived and thrived in their different environments. Uh, then in high school I took an anatomy and physiology class and I really kind of clinched it that I wanted to, um, I was interested in human anatomy and wanted to go into medicine and help people. I know I gotta take higher math classes because I'm a senior now and I realize that there's math classes that I need to take that I didn't take and I'm about to take that before I went into the career that I want to do which is sports medicine. What, what we hear from the students is that they learned about things they never knew existed. And if their, if their realm of experience is narrow, their options are narrow. So we want them to know about all the different health professions that are out there so that they can learn about being a physical therapist or an advanced practice nurse or um, things they may not have realized were out there. You know, so we have things you know, where we have um, animal therapy here today with the therapy dog and different things. And you know, all the different professions that the kids can learn about from radiology, you know, technicians, physical therapists, occupational therapists, public health, dental health, allied health, medical, and behavioral health all to make sure that they know all the options. I learned how to use dentist tools. We learned many things, like um, one of the presentations I went to see, I learned how you can travel a lot and you can learn many things while you're traveling. I learned the steps you have to take like in order to be an RN, like the things you have to do, like your prereqs and everything and how long it takes. I think that it's really helpful for K-12 through students to understand that there's a lot of different careers available in the health system. That could be careers at the associate level, it could be careers at the certificate level, at the bachelor's level, or the master's, and even doctorate level. So our goal is to help students understand that there's 120 different health professions that extend through all different educational levels, and we really want to assist students in selecting the right profession to fit their educational goals and their personal goals and interests. To be dedicated to what you want to do, like, and go for it, and like, don't like hold back. So I'm here to interact with um, high school students um, and um, tell them about our journey in becoming physicians, what it's like, and hopefully answer some questions and inspire them to go into medicine. I think that this program is pretty awesome because it helps really open up the doors and hopefully turns on the light in uh, these students' minds saying, this is maybe where I want to go. Because I remember being their age and I didn't have the slightest clue. I absolutely love the Y plan. I'm developing a brand new pathway at our school and we are trying to find community partners and we're trying to get our students out for community classrooms. So the Y plan was an amazing class that I took. It gave me a different perspective on how to incorporate the community into the classroom. Our students are so appreciative of this opportunity because they were able to listen to some really dynamic keynote speakers, um, engage in hands-on activities, and attend workshops where they were actually able to engage one-on-one -on -one with professionals from the industry. 